The Luggershaw Great War Commemoration Group started in 2014 in order to collate and research soldiers from Luggershaw who gave their lives in the First World War. Now the group are collaborating with the local town council to refurbish the Rose Garden to go alongside the current tribute. It sort of morphed because um, we had some funds left over from 2014 uh, and we decided to put those funds towards a couple of commemorative benches uh, to put into what's called the Rose Garden in the centre of Luggershaw. And um, it's morphed a bit uh, because if we look at the Rose Garden, it's a bit tired, it needs refurbishment, um, it relies on volunteers in order to maintain it and cut the grass. And it, the, the idea just morphed into, into perhaps improving the, the area, the amenity as a whole. After purchasing the benches, the public were then asked to submit design ideas to revamp the garden. Now that a design has been picked, the group are now crowdfunding to raise £5,000, which will go towards a resin that will be used to create a pavement and a large red poppy on the floor of the garden. We felt that the, the local townspeople would, would, uh, would be happy to contribute to, to, to this, uh, this amenity. Uh, the, the position of it is right in the middle of the town. It's right next to the uh, war memorial. Um, <clears throat> in the evening it will be lit uh, and it will look quite a nice feature in the middle of the town. And we felt that it would be rather poignant if the local townsfolk could help contribute towards that memorial in memory of those people that were born in the town or lived in the town and were killed in action in the Great War. Two more names of soldiers born in Luggershaw have been found since the current war memorial was built, but Peter says the garden project can then incorporate any new names that are discovered. The town council, who own the land, are hoping to contribute to the project. I know Peter's already started uh, trying to raise funds, and I'm uh, the, pleased to, to uh, say that the Luggershaw Town Council will be uh, in favour of it, naturally, and we may well be in, 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 uh, involved in, in uh, uh, some funding. Um, there's a lot of different um, parts of, uh, the, the, of Luggershaw that need council money, so we have to be careful of what, what, what we do and how much we give out. That's not been decided yet, but we will be involved. Oh, I think, I think it will mean a lot. There, there's a large army influence uh, in this area. Um, <clears throat> Help for Heroes was formed only just down the road. If you think about uh, Wooden Bassett and uh, it, its, um, its, its uh, remembrance of those that came back from Afghanistan and the subsequent name changing to Royal Wooden Bassett, you know, Wiltshire has a long history uh, with regards to the army um, and there is a big army influence uh, in this area. And um, I think there's a lot of respect for the army uh, and I'm rather hoping that the townsfolk will, will show that in, in donating uh, towards this mem memorial. There are hopes that the project can be funded and built in time for the memorial parade in the town on the 11th of November, commemorating a century since the end of World War I. Cara Digby, That's TV.